Hey there guys, TC Made with TC Gaming. I wanted to bring you another UE5 Cinti rig video. I had a couple of questions about adding additional animations for the characters on here. So um, in this particular thing, we had worked on Polygon Town and we brought a couple of resources in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to my launcher and I'm just going to grab a, an animation pack. And for this, I'll just go to Category, shut that off and go down and get Just Animations. And uh, try it with the Sword and Shield Anim Set Pro. So we'll just hit select project. And I have my UE5 Cinti rig here. Add to project. And we'll let it put those in. Now, when those things have been added in, you'll see, like in this case, it's SNS Anim Set Pro. There are going to be different animation folders in here, depending on if you're in place or root motion or whatever. And if you open these up and play them, everything should be fine in here. But the issue that I've been running into is that these are not going to translate directly over to Cinti. So you kind of need this little middleman retarget process in here. And what I did, um, in the new version of UE5, you're supposed to be able to go into characters. Now this is a mannequin from UE4, it's not a mannequin from UE5. So I'm going to go into mannequin UE4, go into the meshes for this, and get the SK mannequin skeleton. And if you go up to Asset, or uh, Window rather, Asset Details, there's a thing here for compatible skeletons. So if I add one in here, and I go in and say I have a compatible skeleton, which is from this other pack. We can go down here and say UE4 Mannequin Skeleton. If I hover over that, you can see the path is SNS Anim Set Pro UE4 Mannequin Mesh. If I assign that in there and hit Save, excuse me, and these are all the assets that are on that character. What I'm supposed to be able to do now is to go into this mesh and see all of these anims for that as a compatible thing. If I double left click these, they should play. But this is actually playing on the other skeleton. This is, if you highlight up here, um, game character. Actually, it looks like it. maybe it did move it over. So, long story short is if these are in the right spot... Now what you're supposed to be able to do is to go into the rigs, and there's a UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny rig already set up. So the IK UE4 Mannequin is the source, and the target rig is the IK Mannequin. So what I want to do is I want to retarget from this character to that tar character using these... Um, these animations that are in here for the Sword Anim Set Pro. So we're going to try that first. We go down here and grab all of these, highlight them all, and say Export Selected Animations. And I'm going to go pick a uh, folder. So I'll go SNS Anim Set Pro. I'm going to right click in here and do a new folder, and I'll just call these RTG underscore Anims. And say OK. And it should generate those out without crashing anything hopefully let's give it a second to process a lot of files so when that's done I'll be right back okay so that went ahead and processed through so if I close this now I should be able to go over here to this RTG anims folder and see that I have all these animations that came over I'm gonna go up here and do a save all save selected Give that a second to process that. Okay, and when that's done, if I open up one of these combos, I should see that it's actually playing that combo on our new mannequin. What that should mean is that if I go to my Cinti Polygon character, where I have the, um, the Cinti pack in here, where I have this IK retargeter for Cinti, I should now be able to take those animations because they've been ported over to the UE5 mannequin. They should all be available down here. So if I play them, you should see that they translate over to the Synthi skeleton now. And in theory, I should be able to do the same thing here and take all these anims. We're going to grab all these, highlight them, and I should be able to export these selected animations. And I'll go to my Polygon Town right click new folder and I'll do RTG underscore anims here just for retarget RTGs for retarget highlight that folder and say OK and that should translate those animations onto my Cinti character again I'll give this a second 
And as this wraps up, we'll just have to go over here and go into the folder for that, for our RTG enums for the Sinti character. And save all. Save selected. And once all those are saved, if we open one of these up, we should see that it's playing on our Sinti Polygon character. And again, since we had transferred the meshes from our town pack on there i should be able to go over and say preview mesh in this case i have the schoolboy asset on there so i can go over here and apply that to my asset and now i have an animation from the sword and shield pack playing on my sinti character which is being retargeted through the ik mannequin for ue5 and all of these animations that are in here i can right click on any of these and say create an a montage and that will automatically bring that into a montage setter or setting for um, doing whatever else you would normally do with montages again on our character. And I can switch out the previews or the meshes for these to make them work with whatever character set we need to. Okay, so it's just a quick video to show you how to how to transfer from UE4 animations using the compatible skeleton feature onto a UE5 mannequin and then retarget those onto Sinti. Again, what I was saying before is if the if the rigs are the same, like you know identical um, all the way through, it's a UE4 uh, mannequin. You shouldn't need to do that. You should just be able to use the um, compatible skeletons feature but if you do need to retarget them that's the process same way you just skip the last half which is to go also to the Sinti character so again my name's tc made with tc gaming hopefully this quick video helps you out and you guys have a great night thanks again for watching and i appreciate all the recent subscriptions and the comments and feedback it does help and uh, also you know um, gets me in the frame of mind to try and create more content to help you guys out i always like to know when somebody's actually getting some uh, helpful use out of the video so you guys take care and i'll see you in a future video